Hey everybody, Samantha here, back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be revealing and reviewing my new enclosures for my Phytopus regius jumping spiders, also known as regal jumping spiders. Now Majora and Pan have both been in their new enclosures for about a week now. It's been six days and already I can tell you guys I love these enclosures so much more than what they were in before. And you guys will see why when you get to see these enclosures. Now I got these new enclosures from a company called Big Fat Fids. And Big Fat Fids is a jumping spider breeder. I will be linking both their Facebook page as well as their website down in the description, so definitely go and check them out. Now if you do go and visit their website, you can find anything from jumping spider enclosures to the spiders themselves. They sell feeders, equipment, and they also have some really adorable jumping spider apparel and art. Now not only do they have some awesome stuff on their website, but they do also have incredible customer service. Now this was my very first order with them, but it definitely won't be the last. I ordered two enclosures, and they were having a little bit of difficulty getting them shipped out, just because the company that they get the actual containers from, that they make these enclosures out of, were having trouble getting the containers to them, just because they were kind of on back order. But Big Fat Fids kept me super updated. I knew exactly what was going on with my enclosures. And they also sent me one free enclosure, which was awesome. They really did not have to send me any free stuff. I was just happy that they were keeping me so updated, but I'm really excited to have an extra enclosure on hand, especially since I'm going to be doing this breeding project. And I'm happy to announce that Majora and Pan had a successful pairing that I will be talking about in a future video. Alright, well let's get right to reviewing these enclosures, and I'm also going to be showing you guys how to set up an enclosure for a regal jumping spider. The first thing that I would like to say about these enclosures that I absolutely love is the fact that they open from close to the middle rather than the very top of the enclosure. This is one thing that I really disliked about Majora and Pan's old enclosures, because every single time I would go in to go clean or feed them, I would risk destroying their webs. If you don't know this about jumping spiders, they always tend to web at the highest point in the enclosure, so having a top opening enclosure makes maintenance very difficult. Also, since the lid to these enclosures just slides right off, you can get into the enclosure with minimal stress to your spider. Now let's talk about setting up their new enclosures. First, I'm going to set up Majora's enclosure. So for a regal jumping spider, you're going to need some sort of substrate, something for them to climb on, as well as something for them to hide behind. Now you don't necessarily need an actual substrate. You can use something like paper towel, although personally, I like a naturalistic setup much better. I'm using some spare terra fauna substrate that I used when I set up my crested geckos enclosure. This substrate holds humidity very well. My favorite species of wood to use is cork bark as well as spider wood. Cork bark is great because not only does it add some climbing space, but it also adds hiding spaces as well. And spider wood has a lot of great shape and texture to it, and it's really easy to cut to size and make it look the way that you would like it to. In this setup, I would like the spider wood to resemble a tree. I also realized that the piece of cork bark that I had chosen was a little bit too big for my liking, so I do think I am only going to use spider wood in this setup. But I am going to add something else to add some nice hiding space into the enclosure. Another thing that's great about these new enclosures is the fact that they have awesome cross ventilation. I love the fact that they have a vent on each side plus the top of the enclosure. Regal jumping spiders do like a bit of humidity since they do come from regions like Florida. 
although they do still need nice airflow. And also, the screens on these vents have very small slits. So if you do happen to have a gravid female and she does happen to lay her egg sac in the enclosure, you don't have to worry about little spiderlings escaping. Now as you can see here, I am adding some leaf litter into the enclosure. Now again, this is something that isn't necessary, but honestly, I love the way that it looks. And plus, if you're feeding something that burrows, like dubia roaches, it makes it so that they cannot burrow as easily. I did also cut the spider wood down a little bit so that it was just under where the enclosure actually opens so that she doesn't web from the top of the enclosure to the spider wood itself so that when I open the enclosure, I don't ruin her web. And the finishing touch is the fake plants as the background so she can hide behind the leaves. Now for Pan's enclosure, I'm going to pretty much just be doing the same thing, but I figure it'll be good to just give you guys another example. Now I can talk to you guys more about how much I love these new enclosures. It is just so much easier to feed them properly and clean their enclosures without having to worry about destroying their homes in the process. They are so much easier to open and I just love how they look as well. It's so much better to view them and get beautiful photos of Pan and Majora. Like I said in the beginning of this video, they have both been in these enclosures for about a week now, and it's going amazing. Thank you very much to Big Fat Fids. I'm very happy with what I received. Alright everybody, that is everything for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed getting to see my new enclosures, as well as getting to see how to set up an enclosure for a regal jumping spider. Now be sure to go down into my description and check out Big Fat Fids, especially if you're looking into acquiring one of these inquisitive little spiders. They're definitely one of my favorite species to keep. They are just so intelligent and so interesting to watch. I absolutely adore them. And I am so excited that Majora and Pan had a successful pairing and I should see an egg sac laid here within the next week or so. I will definitely keep you guys updated. Majora did already set up a protective web for her egg sac, so she's definitely already getting prepared. And if you would like to be even more updated on her progress, as well as the little spiderlings, you can follow me on Instagram or Twitter at Callie's Creatures. Now, if you guys have any suggestions for a future video or any questions, definitely leave them down in the comments. I am thinking about doing another Q&A video here pretty soon. All right, well, I hope you all have a beautiful day, and I will see you all in another video soon. Bye.